uh, 10 to 14 days, he's gonna be added to that original indictment with the OTF members, and then they're gonna push the case forward. Wow. And any other, and they're gonna add any other evidence that they have on Dirk to that indictment. You, <laughs> you ain't never thought about being no district attorney, no lawyer. Who knows what the future may hold? Hey, but you also mentioned a song. They be like, they be singing Sly for Vaughn. I think they trolling me. Yo, by the way, that song is fire. I ain't gonna lie. It's not reason. I just don't see them comments no more. Sheriff's deputies pulling out a man who had been shot in an SUV. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, people? We is back. Never day on Keep It G News. And they are, we is discussing this whole dirt situation, y'all. Because I'm going to keep it real. Something just ain't sitting right with me. You know? And it wasn't sitting right with me when it happened. So, currently right now, we know dirt is arrested and charged, you know, for being the head of a murder for hire scheme or plot. You know, him and five other guys from OTF or OTF affiliates. But yesterday, DJ Academics did a live stream and he was talking to a homeland security agent i think that's who he was talking to remember i told y'all yo these guys these bloggers don't be surprised if they got law enforcement hitting them in their inbox i'm just being real i ain't saying that's what academics got going on i ain't saying that's what adam got going on but i'm just saying don't rule it out so when they did these interviews I'm talking about DJ Academics when he interviewed Dirk and Adam when he interviewed Quando Rondo. Yo, the questions was all centered around one particular incident. With Adam 22 is about Lil Pop and Quando Rondo. With DJ Academics and Dirk, it was about the beef with Quando Rondo. Even brought up the slide for Vaughn turn. It's a wild question. Wild question. Because at the time, nobody even thought that Dirk had ever slid for Vaughn. You know, at least that's what the internet, you know, them, they were still saying that shit. But you heard Dirk response. But anyway, let me speed it up. Because yesterday, DJ Academics was on live stream with an agent or somebody that works in law enforcement. And I want y'all to listen closely to what DJ Academics had to say. I actually think that they've been watching him for a while. And from what I've heard, there might be multiple other crimes. So my question, right? Y'all know we always pay attention to everything. You know, we pay attention to character. We pay attention to how people say things. And when they say it, that's just how I operate. You know, I pay attention to people. And what DJ Academic said when he said, well, uh, from what we know, I mean, I would anticipate that He's going to be charged with multiple other murder for hires. Like, oh, what you mean? When did you know this? When did you know this, DJ Academics? Did you know this before the interview? Or did you figure this out after Dirk was already arrested? Because it sounds like to me, this is information that you've been hearing about, that you maybe knew about for a very long time. I could be speculating, but that's how it sounds to me. Just by the tone of his voice, the confidence in his voice leads me to believe that you already knew this. So if that's what you already knew, why would you then bring him on your platform and question him about the whole Quando Rondo beef and the Lord Pav situation? Like, I just thought that was strange. But then you got the Adam 22 interview and what he had to say to Quando Rondo. And it got so bad that Quando Rondo told Adam to fall back. Do you regret, cause like, there's that iconic footage of when you first signed to Youngboy and shit where he brings you out on stage and you doing hella, getting the crowd to chant neighborhood, you throwing up a thousand different gang signs. Like you were, you were definitely like using that shit and pride early on. Do you, do you look back on that and you're like, man, that was some fly young shit. Or you look back on that and you're like, damn, I was overdoing it. I should have been more low key about what I was claiming. Man, fit bro. Down, you be access some fed ass <laughs> shit. Oh, bro, this everybody is... seen that clip. <laughs> now, I'm not saying this is definitive, but what I'm saying is, don't rule it out. That's very strange. You know, I don't know. It just don't sit right with me how DJ Academics, how DJ Academics said what he said about 
Dirk in a superseding indictment about how he expects or he thinks that Dirk is being investigated for multiple murders. I just question, when, when did you find this out? You know? Because if I knew this and Dirk sat down with me, I wouldn't have questioned him about none of that shit. You know, because I don't, hey, 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 that's your thing. You got that going on. I ain't out here trying to further the investigation. That ain't my job. But some of these bloggers and podcasters, maybe that's theirs. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments. It's another day keeping you news. And I'm out. Here's the thing. I think there's multiple other murders, yep. multiple other attempted murders, yep. and some other shit. I, I, Recently, I, after, uh, I guess, Pob got killed, the blogs were saying that uh, I think it started circulating that you had dropped your flag, that you wasn't even affiliated with Rolling 60s anymore. I know you've seen that all over the blogs and shit. Where did, where did that rumor come from? But, bro, that ain't no rumor. That's nice. Yeah, that's something I said. <laughs> but, bro, check this out. Like, man, I don't know. Adam, I'm specifically talking to you because I, I, from what I could see is that, like, my mom, my partner, my cousin, Paul, I see that's some shit that you care about. I see that's some shit that be on your mind. But, bro, that shit, listen. Bit, bro, like that, bit, bro, that's a touchy situation. That shit really hurt a nigga. So I don't know about nothing, bit, bro. I ain't, bit, bro, if I can't see what happened or uh, find out the exact whatever, whatever through a law's eye, like if a, like, bit, bro, ain't nobody gonna necessarily know 100% what went on with whatever. Rondo, Rondo, a passenger in that store. Be in the comments a lot? They kind of chilled out a bit. I don't know why. 23-year-old was taken to the hospital where he died.